Okay. <laughs> yeah, but I want you to, uh, if that's a 10, I want you to give me a 4. Really. <laughs> okay, so what's he doing there, guys? Okay, just, 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 let's go, just separate it for us, please, just quickly. So, just do that again. So this is feet, short feet, get your right, get your foot in close. You see where it is on top of the, top of the hamstrings? Where I want you is there. So to get that low, you've got to use your body. All right, let's get into that too, let's try that. Yep. Oh, work, work. Good. Oh, if our left foot's going in, the left shoulder's going in. And we're looking for the outside knee, okay? Same leg, same shoulder. So the first movement is leg in, knee to the outside shoulder, and then just nudge him with your short shoulder. Just nudge him a little bit. Let's go. Okay. What do you think? Too high. Too high on the legs. Too high. Yeah. Too high, yeah. So I, I grabbed him too high up the hamstring. Just, just, just slow it all down. No, no, just slow it all down. So you're getting in, slows it down, gets his foot in first. Okay, that's the key. Outside needs the target, and he's collapsing it. So, foot in, outside knee, and he'll just fall over like that. I don't even do nothing. I just collect his legs, the timing with my, with my shoulder, my eyes are looking straight forward. Again, comes in, shoulder, and that's all it is. Just collapse his knees. So key is do that, eh? Do five one way, and then swap five one way and give each other feedback. Hey, coach. There you go. <laughs> Bit of evasion, go one way or the other. It's the same thing, follow him in. Same, same process, in terms of the feet, go that way. So I get my foot in first, and I'm getting to the outside knee. Not the inside knee, but to the outside knee. Try the same place. Bang. And then hit him. This way. Get my foot in first, get to the outside knee. See, if you don't get your foot in, so say if you're going to get your foot in, you're never going to get to the outside knee. Therefore, the tackle's not going to happen. The most important thing is your feet. So it comes in, start off really slowly, get up, feet in first, and then exactly the same thing. So just spread out and try that, boys. Now, I don't want you to tackle. just want you to get your foot in, touch that outside knee. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Don't want two hands. My target area again is, you just do it to me, is the foot in first. Okay, and if I get to that outside knee and get that and get that, it's a win for me. <coughs> okay, so let's try that. Just with one hand. Don't worry about the inside hand, just the outside hand. Come. Okay, good. That's a win. That's all I want. And as he gets better, I want you to run faster. And run faster until you've... <laughs> you're not going to go full jit because you're only going to start about two or three metres away. But I want more evasion left or right. Okay, so what I expect will happen is you go that way. And I won't use my feet and I'll get to here. So that's a win to him. Okay? Keep progressing it, boys. <laughs> yeah, nice. Nice. So your body height, eh? Yeah. Yep. Good. You are trying to run like that. What I want you to do is. Is it where you can move? Huh? But a quick man like you, long strides, one step off. Shoot your feet up. Let's go. Yeah, and too high. Heads down. So I want you to like that. Just touch the outside. Keep working on it. Give him a bit of evasion, but uh, keep it. Where you go, man. So it's just run straight, don't look at me. Same thing here to slow down. You've got to get your foot in first, you've got to get to that outside knee. Okay? And when you get to, this guy is important for him to just keep on running. Get to the outside knee, and just when you get to that, if you get to that, nothing's going to happen. Okay, get to his ass, big man like this, he's just going to keep on running. You get to this position, with one arm, with him running the velocity, he's just going to flip like you saw in the video. <laughs> Bang. No, one arm. Good. Go, next one in. One arm. Outside knee. Get, get your foot in first, get your hand to the outside knee. Please. No, one arm. Get low. Go. Outside knee. 
Yeah. And so stop there. What did he do? Tell us. He drove, he drove, first, he drove with the shoulder. So the order of events for me is foot in first, hand out second, and a little bit of shoulder. Same thing, same thing, get your, get your foot in, just a little bit of shoulder, fine. It's too high, foot in. Same thing there. No, no, you don't shoulder first. Feet and shoulder. And I swing around. Yep, feet. No, that's shoulder. I want your feet and your hand. Slow down. Good. Good. It's important for you to run straight and not run away from the tackle. Yep. Feet. Feet. No. You're just using shoulder. Feet in here. Go. Feet in here. Good. Too high. Check. Feet in here. Good. Oh, I like that. Try going forward. Yep. Feet. Feet. No, 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 I don't want you to use velocity, I want you to use technique. Okay, switch so, over once you get technique. No, you use shoulder. Hand, feet, hand, shoulder last, shoulder last, shoulder last. Yeah, just a bit high, not bad. Yep. No, see where, see where you are there? I want you to get to here, get to here and that last. Yep. Not oh, bad, just a good high chair. Yep. If you clip it low, bro, he's gone down. Yep. Years of football and feet. Now again, oh. using your shoulder. Maybe if you leave your, your head up, keep your head up, it'll we'll stop you from your shoulder. Oh. Nice, nice. Oh, I like that. See how early you are. Yep. Feet in. Good. Yep. Feet in. Feet in. Good. Feet. Stop. Feet, 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 feet. No, it's too hot. Yep. Feet, feet. Yes. Good. Feet. No, no. Let's try and feed him. Let him tackle you. Feet. Good. 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 Get to that outside neck. Feet. Okay, let's. There you go. Get in there. Yep. Feet. Good. Yep. No, no, no. You're just piling. You're just. I want you to. Use the technique. I know you're a powerful bar. Yep. I want you to be slowing down. The reason I want your foot in, because you can't keep on running if you put your foot in first. So really what I want you to do, if you're a snow tackler, I want you to get out there quickly, get your hand in, get your, get your foot in, get your hand in, and then use your shoulder. Right, buddy. Go. No, slow down. Short feet, keep your head up. Head up. Go. Get up, get up. No. Go. Get up. How's that? Could be a lower, right? Eh? Go. Too high. Yep. Good. So if I saw a perfect technique, what am I going to see, fellas? Low body. You see low body. Yep. Grabbing the knee first. Foot, Step. Foot in first. I'm going to see feet first. Okay. Then I'm going to see what second. Outside leg. Outside leg. Not on the thigh but behind the knee on top of the calf. And then last, pop. I'm gonna see a pop. So, let's see. So we'll go one that way, and then one that way, continuous. Run. Good, love that. What's wrong with that one? That's high. Yep, feet in, feet in. No, that's shoulder. Oh, not bad, just a bit high. Okay, yeah, get my foot in here, and punching to that outside knee, and getting my shoulder. Okay. Okay. Just punch with his inside, but not the outside. Going high, same technique. Feet in, high, oh, feet in. <coughs> so there's that. What I want is that to the outside knee. Really punch that hand in there. What they'll do is follow with your shoulder. Go back. No. Want the punch? There you go. Boom. Not that, just nice and straight. Just a short movement. Okay, let's split. Let's get into it. Then. Okay, so everyone's trying to lift with that inside hand. Everyone's gone to the inside leg. All I want is the outside knee. And the reason I want the outside knee is because if you rely on the inside knee, you forget about your feet. If you go to the outside knee, you have to chase your feet. So let's get into that habit. Outside knee. Yep, cool. Punch. Good. Good. There you go, that's it. 
Good. Grab it quicker. Oh. Right here. Get your head on the ball. I mean, literally, put your head on the ball. Head down. Head down on the ball. Don't no, 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 look, buddy. Don't like, no, look, buddy. Don't 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 Head on the ball. Up. Now put your head on the ball. There you go. There you go. Literally put your head on the ball. Head on the ball. Head on the ball. Yeah, so what I'm trying to get you guys to realize is that if you tackle and you end up on the wrong side of the ball, you've got to go and do a full circle to get back on the right side of the ball. But if you use the right technique, slowly and surely, I get down to here and drop it. And stay here and stay on the ball. So what you're doing in terms of your decision making, you always run to the side, you're banging them on the ground with a short pop, get back on the ball quickly. Okay? Let's try that. So I see some people use two hands, You can use two hands, but I don't want you lifting the inside knee. I want the focus of the tackle to be the outside knee. Get up. Yes. Head on the ball. Head up. Go. Good. Good. Go. <coughs> and get up. Get up. More we can do. Head on the ball. Head pop. Bang. Okay, I don't want you to pick the ball. I want you to be in a stationary position strong. Go. Down. Pop it up. I don't want you to grab the ball, I want you to be in a stationary position strong. Hit on the ball. 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 Hit on the